Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about more of my autistic headcanons for uh, TV and film characters or whatever. Uh, now this, I have been thinking about this for a while but uh, for now on on this channel I am going to cover more autism stuff. Uh, not related to video games at all. Uh, not uh, like this still this channel will still mostly focus on gaming first and foremost like 99 98 percent of the time but i do want to cover at least a little bit of dedicated autism content without having to tie it into gaming like for example i did some uh autism content based on my special interest for games uh my nintendo head cannons so i want to do that but as their own dedicated autism videos without having to tie it into gaming uh so yeah, I hope you are fine with that. Uh, I think this is a good idea for me because my channel is named Autistic Gaming. I want to cover at least a little bit of autistic content. Uh, again, channel mostly will focus on gaming stuff, but I think this is the best thing for me because I, I kind of want to cover autism because it is a part of my life. It is a part of me. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, we're gonna be covering more of my autistic uh, TV and film he uh, character headcanons because I can't believe I forgot like a couple of key ones from the last video on April Fools, which was technically it was an April Fools video, but like, you know, uh, it was a serious video, just not my typical content, but uh, so yeah, let's get into it. I can't believe I forgot some of these characters. So first we're gonna list off some of the characters I mentioned on my in my original video, like in the comments, in my pinned comment. So if you wanna check out some of uh, some of the other ones I listed, it's in the pinned comment of my original video, but here, here's something I missed. <laughs> so first we got Ferb from Phidias and Ferb. I don't know how I missed this because I really think he is autistic. I mean, first of all, he is depicted as not talking much at all. He does talk, but he is very, uh, he very rarely talks, but he is very smart, uh, but also still very awkward, and that obviously fits a lot of autistic people. Now, obviously, it's kind of like a stereotype that uh, autistic people are smart and stuff like that. Uh, it is, I think it is rooted in fact. Not, not everyone, not every autistic person is smart like a super genius but i think they are smart in their own ways like they're knowledgeable on like gaming they're knowledgeable on on tv shows they're knowledgeable on uh mechanical stuff like there, i think there is some level of fact in the stereotype of course it's not gonna fit every single autistic person but i think ferb does a really good job with this because he is a bit awkward when it comes to like vanessa who is his like uh, older than him but like it's like kind of his uh, eventually later on becomes his, like girlfriend uh, in the future uh, but like uh he's a bit awkward but he's very smart and doesn't talk much and I, it feels relatable to me especially because I used to be non-verbal myself at least in school uh, I didn't talk much to anyone at school besides a little bit of teachers and like some students like like mumbling here and there and like I think Ferb does a perfect job representing that so yeah and and the opposite and i think phidias has adhd which yeah <laughs> uh, um now i'm not sure if i did i i'm not sure i might cover uh in this video i might cover some repeats from the last video i did like skim through my last video to see what i talked about but i maybe i missed something but i want to briefly talk about uh Dipper from Gravity Falls, I think he's autistic, uh, very awkward, very smart, and I think Mabel has ADHD. But the thing about Dipper is that uh, I related to him a whole lot when uh, that ending part where he was thinking about becoming Ford's uh, like apprentice, and I wished that he would take that opportunity because I related to him so much. Eventually, he decided to not take it and still be with Mabel, and like that's sweet and all. But if I was Dipper and I related to Dipper a whole lot, I would have taken the apprenticeship because I don't have many friends. I feel like I could use my talent. Like if I was in Dipper's situation, I could f use my talent uh, to help uh, for my great uncle. Like I related to Dipper a whole lot, and it's kind of sad that he didn't. Uh, take for its apprenticeship but again that this is my opinion but yeah uh 
And then uh, I want to talk about Entrapta from Sea-Ra. I was going to say Sea-Hulk. Oh my god. Don't watch that show. <laughs> but Sea-Ra, I, I forgot about Entrapta who, uh, she is very clearly autistic. And I mean this like, it's almost confirmed. I don't think it is confirmed. If it is, it was only confirmed recently. But even still, uh... Like, it's almost clear that she has autism compared to all the other characters I listed. It's like, see, it should be like, um, oh, so of course, being smart, but uh, being very awkward, not understanding social cues. Uh, like, like there's so much uh, about her that's, like, autistic. Like, it's almost confirmed. Like, literally almost confirmed. Maybe it was confirmed at some point, but I'm pretty sure it never was. And I really do see her as, as that. Like, oh, my God, it's so crazy how did i forget about her uh next i want to talk about uh some two uh st live action characters uh first we have monk from uh well adrian monk from monk now if you've never seen the show it's basically about a uh detective with ocd uh trying to solve crimes all that stuff it has eight seasons i love the show uh, and like, yeah, Monk has OCD. That is the confirmed 100%. Uh, he has OCD. Um, but like, there's some overlapping in terms of autism and OCD. And I could really relate to a lot of what he has. Not all of it, obviously. Like, I don't wash my hands or keep things clean obsessively. But there are some things where I relate to him a lot on because it does overlap a little bit. But there's some things that he has that don't, like, they're not related to OCD. Like, there's some, uh, like, social situations, like, not understanding uh, people that much, not having very many, many friends. Like, that's not really part of OCD, and that's really what makes me think that he has autism along with OCD. Uh, so, yeah, I really love this show uh, a whole lot. Again, it is... I watched it when I was really young, which is weird because it is more of an adult show. Uh, but my mom introduced me to it, and I love Monk. Great show. Still holds up very well. It came out, like, it last ended in, like, 2008. But it started in, like, 1999 or... No, no, no. Or 2001. I think it was 2001. I don't know. It was around there. But it started off early 2000s, and it ended off in 2008 or 2009. God, I don't remember. But either way, it still holds up. <laughs> uh, point being, I love the show. I love Monk. Uh, yeah. And I think he has autism, as long with OCD. Uh, another one I forgot to mention was Rose from Golden Girls. Uh, now, Golden Girls, again, is another show that I is way, way, way past my generation. But I watched it with my mom, and I love Golden Girls. Does it have some issues? Sure. Uh, not in terms of majorly, like, like it has issues in terms of continuity. Like, sometimes, like, something happens, and then, like, it doesn't get referenced, or they forget about it, or they change the character, how the character looks, or something. I don't know. There's some continuity issues, but, like, overall, as, like, a comedy, funny, haha, so it's pretty good, and it still holds up really well. Uh, pretty modern as well, with, uh, the, like, some gay characters, some, uh, trans characters, but anyway, uh, Rose, uh, she is depicted as being pretty stupid, unlike, which, this is a, not, not a problem, really, but, like, it is a thing with, like, autistic characters or the autistic head cannons where sometimes they're either depicted as being really smart uh genius levels or sometimes being really stupid and really dumb and it, it does again these two things are stereotypes but they do have roots in them of being real because autistic people can be really smart at like a certain thing like oh knowledgeable on gaming like you know like me i i know all the things about uh Xenoblade, for example, but like, uh, if you, uh, wanted me to talk about something like, uh, uh, I, I don't know, a specific TV show, I'm like, huh? Or like, like, I don't know, math or science, I don't know. Uh, but basically there's like always these, uh, blind spots for us, uh, autistic people. Uh, and like, uh, so there are, so in media is kind of like, oh, they're either really smart or really dumb, but there are roots to wider depicted like that 
Anyway, uh, Rose sees the picture that's being like kind of dumb and very uh, non understanding, like, what's the word? Like, uh, jokes. That's a very big thing. She doesn't understand jokes or social cues that much. But she does have friends and she is very friendly, and I relate to her a whole lot. In the show, she's kind of, again, depicted as being dumb, especially with like Dorothy, Blanche, and Sophia. They think she's stupid, but like, I always feel bad for Rose. I mean, like, sometimes she is dumb, like, unironically, but sometimes she just, most of the time she just doesn't understand, like, jokes or whatever. And, like, I relate to that so, so badly. Like, you cannot even believe. <laughs> uh. Anyways, uh, I think that that covers it from my pinned comment uh, that I left over on my original video. So now let's talk about some other characters that I thought of. Uh, if I miss even more characters, then I will do another follow-up to this video, but I'm going to try to be as concise as possible. So, uh, two characters I forgot to mention were actually uh, from the Owl House too. Uh, I talked about Luce uh, in my original video, I believe. So, but I forgot to mention Gus and Hunter. Uh, now, uh, these two characters are, I think I have a lot more in terms of uh, autism, uh, especially Hunter. Now with Hunter, it's the same thing as Asuko in my original video where he's kind of like, uh, was raised to be like bad and like doesn't understand, uh, how to be like other kids. So in a way, I guess I could see it being related to trauma instead of, uh, autism. But with Gus, I mean, clearly he has some trauma, but like he was always like that from what we've seen and he has his own coping mechanism to like uh uh to breathe and stuff like that like i think these two are more likely to have autism than loose but again i do relate to loose a little bit more even though she is has likely adhd uh like i said so yeah but i forgot to mention those two characters in the owl house and it's sad because it just ended uh oh boy if you want to hear my thoughts on the owl house finale then uh i have a live stream that went up it's literally about is there the title talking about the Owl House uh, finale while playing Smash Bros? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, another character that I didn't, that I thought of right now, not right now, but like uh, before I made this video was Anais from uh, Gumball, the Amazing World of Gumball. Uh, now, uh, I noticed this a lot. Uh, I think Gumball has ADHD, but Anais, her, his sister, has autism, which you see this a lot where like, the brother, not brother, where like one of the siblings has ADHD, one of the siblings has autism, at least in my opinion. And I think that fits really well, uh, especially because when it comes to my family, because we think that my brother has ADHD, but we haven't gotten tested for that yet. So yeah, but he knows uh, that we think that he has ADHD. But anyway, family stuff out of the way. Uh, I really think Anais, like, like, does have autism. Like, again, she's another one of those characters that are really smart, but very, very, very awkward in, t in terms of, uh, making friends and social cues. You see this in a couple of episodes where it's depicted way more than some of the other characters that are, like, a little awkward or stuff like that. There's whole episodes ded dedicated to her being awkward and not having friends and trying to make friends really badly and it not going the best for her like there's even one episode where like she makes she becomes like a parasite to like a like a literal parasite to another girl that he that she likes like as a friend and like it's like a whole thing but like i think that she has autism and again gumball i think has adhd uh because he's very hyperactive especially when he was younger you see him when he was younger he was very much like that so yeah uh, well, it's always strange that you could see that, like, oh, some siblings, pairs have, like, one autism, one ADHD. It's kind of weird that you see that, at least for me. So, yeah. Uh, I do want to, I just thought of this right now, off the cuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to bring up Teen Titans. Specifically, I want to talk about uh, a bit of Robin, uh, maybe Cyborg. But I think maybe Robin is, uh, has autism because he's very recluse, very, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, like, 
also you could maybe argue Raven, uh, but again, some of these characters could be argued like, oh, trauma related, stuff like that. Uh, uh, they have trauma, so maybe that's why they're acting like that. Raven and uh, Robin, they both have, they're kind of recluse, not understanding social cues that much, especially Raven. Cyborg, uh, I could see a little bit of, but maybe not as much. And Beast Boy, I think, has ADHD. <laughs> you could also argue Starfire. I mean, like, you could argue the whole Teen Titans team <laughs> has, like, narrow diversity. Uh, you could argue with Starfire because of uh, social cues and all that stuff. But, uh, of course, there's a way to explain it because he's an alien. Uh, but I think the Teen Titans crew as a whole could have narrow diversity. Uh, <laughs> I just thought of that right now. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyways guys, I think that's it for the video. Uh, I can't really think of any other autistic characters right now. Uh, maybe I'll think of more like down the line and then I could do another follow-up to the video. If you want to see my original uh, video on the film and TV uh, autistic headcanons, then I'll link it in the description. But uh, besides that, I think that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and I will cover more autistic content in the future. I promise. They, uh, gaming will always be my main uh, content on the channel but I do want to cover a little bit of autistic content. So yeah, look forward to that if you're interested and yeah. That's it for the video guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.